In this video, we will configure IntelliJ IDE. Click on the new project. Choose the Groovy option. The Java SDK is already default selected. And the Groovy library is not. We need to create the Groovy library by selecting browsing to the Groovy folder. Then next, here we give it a project name. Normally I just call it Groovy mapping because we mainly use this for creating Groovy mapping. And the path, you can use the default path, but for me, normally, I feel it's easier to just put it into C drive. Okay, finish. It will create the folder. Okay, create. Okay, uh, I'll give you a moment to do the indexing. I will pause for now. Okay, the indexing already done. Next, we can try to create a very simple GUI script just to see the, whether the GUI is running fine or not. Right click on the source, new, GUI class. Let's say give it a name. Hello. Groovy. And I don't need the class. I just do a print line, print ln. Uh, hello, Groovy. And to run it, there's a two way. You can right click. Here we'll show the run the script name. You click on it. And it will, it will build and run. This one we'll print to the console here. Alternatively, you can click on here, it will run again. Okay, so next we should try the CPI script. Normally for me, I just directly come to here, Groovy Mapping, and I for me, I not really develop the script, the CPI script inside the source, because I found that it's actually not required, and I felt that it's more straightforward to directly create some folder in here. For example, let's say this is a CPI package. Let's call it uh, package one, corresponding to the CPI package. And then inside the CPI package, there is some some script. Let's call it first script, first dot. Groovy. And for the sample script, let's take it from here for now. I copy this one.
So you can see uh, the folder, if I manually create from here, corresponding, it will be showing up here also. I double click here. Then I can paste it. And you can see here, if I try to run the first, run this one, it will throw the error saying that unable to resolve class and this class because it's not referent to any CPI specific library yet. So now next, what we're going to do is to add the library to this project. To do that, right click on the project, open module setting or the F4 shortcut. Go to the library, the GUI library already is there. So next, we click on the plus sign, choose the Java option, go to library, CPI, just the CPI folder is sufficient. It will auto take all the Java that under this CPI folder. Then click OK and OK. Apply. Okay, now already uh, at the CPI library. So if we try to run this again, so this time we do not see any error. And here there's no there's no there's don't have any output also because the run is actually not calling this one because this is just a function. But for now, this is the get all the dependency, the library in place and then we are ready for the actual GUI script mapping set up. Yep, so up to now, the setup of GUI IDE using IntelliJ is done already. Okay, we will end here. In the future section, I will show more about GUI mapping and how to do a a uh, normal groovy mapping from one one format to another let's say from idoc to json or the other way around or mix with csv and other format thank you see you in the other video